Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video, and today we're going to be finally doing some live ladder pushing in the game. As you can see, I'm at 7,167 trophies, top 7k. We are on the final day of the ladder season, going to be playing with 3.0 Expo Cycle, and uh, yeah, I haven't really done much ladder content this entire season. We're going to be going for Grand Champion 7.3k as kind of an end of season final goal. Um, I don't play too much ladder in all honesty, but I it is about to finish, so might as well uh, play a little bit, and that's just going to be my basic goal. I don't really care too much about a finish uh, in terms of like a top 1k finish, because I'd much rather have fun with content, been busy with other real life stuff as well. But uh, yeah, we're into the first match against NM Salvador. Let's split archers. He goes for a barb barrel, so. Barbell doesn't tell me too much though. Ice Wiz as well, and he's giving the wow and the angry face. So I actually think it's going to be Splash Yard, which is really good. Uh, the two Ice Wiz Barbell decks are probably going to be either Splash Yard or Golem. And with the Tombstone in there, I think it could still be either. But Golem with Ice Wizard isn't usually Tombstone, I think. It's usually Goblin Cage. Goes for a pretty aggressive Skelly King. Let's go Knight and Skeletons for this graveyard. And I might have to Ice Spirit as well. I think I will, just because some Skeletons are piling up and we actually defended that pretty much perfectly i mean the tower wasn't even on the graveyard and we defended it for only one hit so that was really good. gonna go for an expo opposite because he just spent four elixir at the bridge with that baby dragon i feel like that was pretty aggressive i'm gonna get some nice log value here on this bar barrel i wish i did have like an ice spirit or something to catch but still that's gonna be a really big connection um then again we are taking some damage from the baby dragon i'm gonna go for a knight at the bridge because he just spent a tornado we also did get a positive trade out of that exchange. I mean, we are up about 300 damage, which is definitely worth it. And also, uh, we did force out the tombstone, so just a basic 3 for 3. If he didn't have tombstone, he would have been kind of screwed, but he was back to it. Um, but I kind of just went night at the bridge because I felt like he was pretty low on elixir after that tornado. I like those single elixir punish plays, especially if you don't really need your knight for a lot of stuff. We're going to ice spirit the bridge. We are cycling pretty quickly. And he goes Skelly King, so I guess I'll just go for a high Tesla. This is what I like to do in Splash Yard matchups a lot. I just like to go with these high Teslas. It doesn't really matter too much, but it is also technically an anti-poison placement. Um which is pretty useful. So I think I'm going to expo. Just going to wait a little bit for the Skelly King to walk by. And I'm going to expo now, since, again, he spent quite a bit. And yeah, I outcycled his uh, tombstone, and he didn't have Skelly King cycle, so that was a perfect cycle. Also caught the barb barrel with my knight. And now that's going to be a lot of fireball value if I can hit it. Going to try. And okay, we did unfortunately miss the Ice Wizard. I'm going to have to go for a log, but then Ice Spirit should clean up pretty well against the Ice Wiz. Yeah, pretty much flawlessly. So not too bad. He has a good game, so we got a huge exchange of that. And card cycle counting is huge um, in this game overall, but especially in this matchup where they only have Skelly King as their main expo tank. They also have Ice Wiz and Tombstone, but both of those are pretty clunky and can be dealt with pretty easily. So if they don't have Skelly King and Cycle, you know they don't have a Tombstone and Cycle either. You can definitely punish them. So he's just kind of poisoning nothing. I guess Tesla kind of counts, but... It's not really worth it, I would say. So I'm just going to defensive expo, abusing the fact that he just wasted his poison. And he can't even really go for a graveyard right now uh, because he doesn't even have poison for my archers. So he's actually in a pretty bad spot. I think I'm just going to fireball that tombstone. I don't know why he would go for it in that placement because that is literally just free fireball value. And I'm going to expo now because he might be going opposite lane, trying to punish. Going to Tesla as well to predict the baby dragon. Looks like he goes Skelly King, so I will knight as well. Um, and then Tombstone comes down. I guess I'll just Ice Spirit for the Ice Wiz and kind of let the Expo die at this point. Because I did spend quite a lot. This is going to be a pretty big counter push. Going to log the Ice Wiz though. Maybe we'll get a tiny connection here. Uh, he goes... Okay, I don't know why he went Graveyard opposite. That was kind of weird. Uh, but I can pretty much just ignore that for the most part. And Expo, because he just spent a lot with that Graveyard plus NATO again. Should be pretty low on Elixir. And just going to go for a high Tesla here. And this game looks like it's pretty much going to be wraps. I mean, he doesn't really have much he can do. Honestly, that Skelly King was kind of just uh, bleeding. I'm going to catch the Barb Barrel. Catching Barb Barrel is very important as well. But yeah, that Skelly King was basically just bleeding Elixir. Goes for a NATO. He's going to be low on Elixir. And he's not back to Skelly King again because card cycle counting. So yeah, he didn't have anything in hand to counter that. That's going to be a really nice win. And he gives the good luck. I guess he's mad. Okay, I'm going to say thanks. Just because if they BM first, I'm honestly not afraid to BM back. It's kind of funny. Uh, but anyways, that's going to put me one off 7,200, just barely. Pretty nice win against a pretty good matchup.
Alright, so getting right into the next match against a Japanese player here, gonna give him the good luck, and go for an Ice Spirit at the bridge first play, always a pretty safe standard play. Also, Ice Spirit compared to E Spirit does do a bit more damage, so it's pretty nice. Um, although I guess they don't try and activate King off an Ice Spirit because they can't compared to E Spirit, so that's like one benefit of Electric Spirit. You can usually find out what they have since they do try and activate King off of it, but he goes for a Minion Horde, which is interesting. Um, and he did ignore my Ice Spirit, so it could be a heavier deck. Probably not a Cycle deck, especially with the Minion Horde in there. Just gonna center Tesla. Goes for a Tornado. I guess I will Expo when I hit 10. Just so we'll have enough Elixir to kind of support this as well. Because I, I am kind of up Elixir right now. Um, because I do have a Tesla up. Gonna go Knight. Right as the Giant Skelly walks into the Expo. Also notice my Expo placement. One tell inwards to the river. So that the Tesla would help out against whatever he played. And that was a Giant Skeleton. And because of that play... We get a ton of damage, just over 1,500 damage or so. Uh, really nice. Well, actually, I guess over 1,200 damage, because I did get an Ice Spirit and Log Connection earlier. Goes for a Balloon. I guess I will Archers and get my Tesla ready in case he goes for a spell on it. And he does. So, going to go for a high Tesla like this. I think I can Expo with this after. Looks like I placed it pretty much perfectly. Just wanted to make sure that it didn't uh, get hit by the Balloon, so it would be very healthy to support this Expo. Going to go for Log. On the E was pretty well played of him, I guess, because Tesla didn't hit it, but uh, still, you know, Log plus Expo is more than enough, and looks like he doesn't really have anything. Because, I mean, Balloon plus Fireball is 9 Elixir. Archers are only 3, so that was a huge overcommitment, especially because I went Tesla, which is only 7 for 9, so I was up to Elixir. And I think he wasn't even back to Giant Skeleton yet, because he went Giant Skeleton, then he went Balloon Fireball. So, yeah, that was just overall pretty aggressive by him. Don't really agree with that play. And that's basically going to make us already win the game. I mean, we just have to defend. So, I think he also has a Lumberjack in this deck. Yeah, there's a Lumberjack. So, going to get my Tesla ready. Okay, going to have to get a really nice Fireball here. Um, and, wow, Flawless Ice Spirit there. Really nice. Freezing the entire Horde plus the Lumberjack. So, I could get the perfect Fireball off. Really, really cool. And just going to go for a pre-Tesla. Nice, we got it. So, that's why I played the Tesla one tell over. Just because it would pull the Balloon. Going to go Archers just in case he went for a Fireball. Then going to go Expo. Again, inward so that the Tesla will help out, at least more so than if I went for it on the right. I think I will have to let the Sexbo die, because obviously Giant Skeleton is a pain. Um, but I'm kind of just applying pressure for the sake of it. Uh, and it looks like he might be going for another push here, but I am already back to a Tesla, so I'm not really scared of him going for a Balloon. Gonna stack Archers in the right, just in case he does go for a Balloon. And goes for a Minion Horde, I, th I think I'll just Fireball the 4. I don't really care about the right side. That is my healthier side tower. Anyways, going to go Ice Spirit to freeze the balloon right before. Keep the Tesla alive. That's going to be GG. Really nice win against uh, the same A deck, who is a really good player, actually. Going to give them the well-played and good luck. Because, again, like if they're good sports, I really like being a good sport, too. It's just if they BM, I usually BM back, because why not? Uh, but, yeah, that was a pretty decent matchup, I'd say, and pretty nice win. Let's see. We should be up. Uh, yeah, we are going to be at 7.2K now. Alright, so getting into the next match against what looks to be a Chinese player. Um, and, okay, wow, I looked away for a second and he went for a Fire Spirit, so I can't really Skeletons in time anymore. Uh, that's my bad. Uh, I obviously would have gone Skeletons on it, but let's just go for a Knight. Looks like it's going to be Goblin Drill. Not something I like to see, to be honest, because usually Drill is a pretty tricky matchup. Even if they don't counter, it's just annoying, honestly. And it looks like it is going to be a pretty hard matchup since he does have the Bomber version and not the Skeleton King version. Yeah, and Skeletons too, so it's going to be a Cycle version and Bandit in there too. Somehow Bandit dashes from that Archer to the Tesla, but Tesla still takes it out. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be a pain, honestly. Going to go Expo opposite, he just went for a log. Going to Skeleton to predict, and he actually does go for an Inferno Tower, so going to block with the Knight, and go for an Ice Spirit to reset the Inferno Tower's charge. Maybe we can get a small connection here. I think he should be back to Bandit, though. We do actually get a connection, so I will go for Archers to predict the Bandit as we get it off, actually. Nice. Going to go for a log 2 on the Bandit plus Bomber. Um, and we do actually get a really nice connection, although, honestly, I did spend a ton just now. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get punished here. Drill plus Fire Spirit. I can't actually stop that Fire Spirit. Uh, so going to go for a Knight. Sadly, that, wow, that Goblin survives. That sucks. Okay, I actually took more damage than I dealt. That was really bad. Um, I don't know, maybe I should have gone Skeletons for the Fire Spirit and just went Knight late on the Drill. I'm not sure, because technically those Skeletons didn't do too much. I guess they did stop some damage from coming in. 
Uh, but yeah, that was just kind of bad. But this is going to be a terrible matchup because I'm pretty sure he has Rocket in here. So Drill Cycle is all already pretty tough, especially if they have Log 2. But when they have Rocket, it's even worse. And he actually goes for an Inferno Tower um, again and Log. So I'm going to actually protect this with Archers. He does go for Bomber. going to go Skellies to try and stop the Bandit. And unfortunately, I do actually mess up the Skeleton's placement, so I will take one unfortunate Bandit hit. That's on me. They should have been one more to the left and one more lower, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I'm not too good with that perfect spot. I just know like the general few tiles that it's in. Gonna pre-place a knight here as we do actually get it off. I'm um, gonna log as well because yeah, it's so annoying. Look at that drill plus log always gets guaranteed damage. It's like the worst. But wow, looks like he really just wants to uh, keep playing infernos on my expo. I don't know why because I'm pretty sure this version has rocket in there, which is a really hard counter. Okay, we do get a connection gonna have to go protect this with everything we can so scaly just to predict if he went like far spirit or something he did just spend fireball plus log so i'm gonna go expo again actually archers to predict the uh eye tower as well then ice spirit log should be all i need for this drill yeah i don't take any damage except the spawn damage which is huge and he did have to go for a log so i'm actually just gonna let that go and then go for another expo with uh a bit more elixir when i have it it's gonna cycle back now Go for an expo. He goes for a bandit, so knight should actually fully counter that. Wow, he spent way too much on the right, I'd say. Bomber was just unnecessary. Like, bandit, sure, but yeah, bomber was just bad. And he goes for t Inferno way too late, so that's going to be GG. Um, I guess that's not going to be a hard counter since he does have Fireball, not Rocket, but it's still going to be their matchup for sure. Fast Cycle Drill, just really bad. We were able to win, though, which is really nice. He just overcommitted a lot, but that's going to put me just above top 5k. Alright, so looking for our next match, we are actually climbing up pretty well. Found it now against Snooze CR. Gonna give him the good luck and see what he's gonna be playing. If he goes for a Fire Spirit, okay, he goes Archer Queen. Gonna go Expo opposite. And uh, he actually goes E Spirit for the Expo, that's perfect. Yeah, he goes Ghost, so he's actually gonna be playing Royal Giant, I think, because Archer Queen plus E Spirit. I don't know why he went Queen first play, but that's amazing for me because um, I'm just gonna Fireball this, and that's all I need to spend on it. If he goes, like, Ability. I don't even need to spend anything. Gonna go Skellies, and he does go for a pretty good E Spirit that time to stop my Skeletons. Gonna go Ice Spirit on the Fisher, I guess, last second, because I was kind of deciding, but I think it's worth it just to stop that damage. But that was amazing. Um, basically, because he went E Spirit as well, he played 6 Elixir, which meant he was at 4 or so, 4.5, or 5 at highest, which means he didn't have enough for an RG onto my Expo, um, which is why he didn't go for an RG, he went for Royal Ghost. I guess Royal Ghost is RG, but yeah. He goes RG in the back now, that's really weird, but yeah, it's gonna be Royal Giant Lightning, probably, um, and I'm really happy with this start. Just gonna Expo into it, and now this is gonna be risky, because he is just gonna ignore it. Gonna be down 6 Elixir, technically, uh, but I should be fine. I think I'll get some DPS down on this RG early with a Knight, and maybe even Archers, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna go Archers, but Archers on my side so they don't die too soon. And then RG's actually already dead, um, and I can probably get a nice Fireball on that Queen. Maybe even hit the Ghost too, though that'll be kind of hard to time. Uh, but gonna log this back, and then I think I... Okay, actually goes for the ability. I'm just gonna go for a low Ice Spirit, and just take like one Archer Queen hit or two max. Yeah, that's totally fine, because... I literally took his uh, entire left side or right side tower, so that's amazing for me. Just gonna go for a high Tesla or center Tesla rather. Goes RG at the bridge, so really good play with a Tesla. Gonna go knight for the ghost, archers for the RG, and then skellies for the RG as well. Notice how I separated my skeletons and knight so that the royal ghost wouldn't splash all of them. And just like that, I think we basically won because there's no way he's going to break through my defense. Uh, like, th this matchup isn't that bad in terms of defense. To me, it's only hard in terms of offense. Like, I don't see how you can outdamage them. Um, but I'm just going to go for a defensive expo, and it, he, it looks like he's leaking, so he might have given up, actually, which would make sense. Uh, I guess I'll give him the good game and hope he actually did give up. But just in case he's, like, pretending, I will just play defensively and build up Elixir just in case, uh, but let's go for the three crown now. But yeah, this is definitely going to be easy matchup in terms of defense. It's just, I feel like they can definitely out damage you with spell cycle, especially with a queen down, three card cycle, it's ridiculous. Um, but I got such a nice connection in single because he went archer queen plus e-spirit, just barely didn't have enough for the RG. Then he went RG in the back, which just gave me an opening in all honesty, but yeah, really, really nice there. Um, and that's going to be a really easy plus 30 that I'm really happy about. Um, and let's see where that puts me, actually. 7,279. So I think that's going to be... Is that going to be top f uh, 5k? Uh, let's find out after the mastery notification, I guess. Okay, just barely above top 5k still. But yeah, that was a really great win. 
Alright, so getting into the next match against Avisum D. Ira. Uh, I guess he's Italian. And uh, we are one game away from 7.3k, which is really nice. Hopefully we're able to get it, uh, because this has been a really nice push so far, honestly. Um, I usually don't like ladder pushing that much, especially because if it's like a tilt, it takes forever just to get the same amount of trophies back that you lost. Going to expo opposite, I guess, because I knew he had to respond to that knight and did go for bowler opposite, so let's see what he has for the expo. Maybe Dragon Bowler could be Lumberloon Freeze, would be my first guess, or I guess maybe Graveyard Freeze, but probably some kind of freeze, honestly. And he is, okay, he did wait till very late to play that Skelly King. I'm just going to Tesla on it, honestly, and then Skeletons as well, just to stall it out. He goes for a freeze, so I guess I will also Ice Spirit and Log, like last second, just to keep the expo alive, and we do actually get a small connection for that, which is really nice. I could maybe even expo with this Tesla surviving, um, although I guess it is a little bit late at this point. Wow, goes Inferno Dragon uh, Graveyard. I'm just going to Fireball the Eye Drag. I guess it's pretty annoying with the Eye Drag there, but he doesn't have a freeze, so it's not going to be that threatening. Because um, far, I guess you only have Archers and Tesla as a counter to the Inferno Dragon in terms of raw DPS. But obviously, I need the Archers for the Graveyard, and Tesla would have been a bit clunky. So Fireball is like another option that you guys can definitely use. going to Expo Opposite right now, and then Tesla to predict the Bowler. And, wow, somehow it didn't actually target the Tesla. I went with this, like, special placement to try and take it out, but it looks like we still do get a connection with that nice log in there, and we do get another 500 or so damage, which means we are just up a ton right now, which is great, because uh, this looks like it's just going to be Graveyard Freeze, which should be a pretty easy matchup. Uh, worst case, if I can't continue to break through, though I will continue to play aggressive if it doesn't work out. I will pretty much just defensive expo, and they can't do anything because they only have freeze as their spell. So I guess I'm going to pre-cycle my archers, um, because if they want to go for a graveyard, okay, go skeleton army opposite. I'm not going to log it, I'm just going to go skellies because he's probably going to uh, use skeleton ability. going to fireball the eye drag again, along with the tesla, then I think I do have to log this graveyard. Okay, honestly, the log could have been more to the right to hit more of those skeletons, but Ice Spirit is pretty clutch, and we don't take too much damage. I mean, we take a bit, but it's understandable, considering that was a pretty awkward spot for us, and we did still come out on top, and we are still up 1,000 damage. So again, like I said, going to be abusing these defensive expos. Let's go for this Tesla to try and protect the expo. I went for it a little bit late, unfortunately, so I couldn't keep the Baby Dragon off my expo. Um, but goes I Drag opposite. I'll, again, just pre-cycle archers into that lane just in case he wants to go for a graveyard, and then an expo opposite, and he goes for a grave naked graveyard. I guess he's planning to freeze with it. Yeah, there's the freeze. I will just log, and then uh, goes bowler. Let's get a Tesla down, like, at the right time, far away from the expo so that he can't uh, splash it with the boulder, and they should definitely lock on a tower again. So yeah, another nice connection. He just spent a tornado, so I actually really want to go in right now, but I can't because the baby dragon's there. It's going to wait till it crosses, and then go in. Okay, it still doesn't cross. That's really unfortunate. I really wanted to go in because he was down quite a lot, honestly, and he didn't have bowler in cycle, but let's just chill out, I guess. Play passive again, just defensive expo. There's no downside. It goes eye drag. Let's actually block it at the bridge with these skeletons, and then ice spirit for the graveyard, and if he freezes, I'll just log. I think he's actually going to lose on this counter push. Also, I just noticed he has a level 13 Inferno Dragon. That's kind of interesting, I guess. Um... I'll go Skeleton just to stall out for a bit longer. I definitely think he's going to lose on this counter push. We have Archers, going to Tesla to predict the Bowler. Nice, we get it down. He definitely should have gone Bowler in the middle uh, to snipe both, but Log, oh my god, really nice Log. We do clip that Skarmy as well. I'll go Ice Spirit and Knight just for this Baby Dragon, and that's going to be GG. I mean, even if he freezes, uh, the tower is basically dead. Yeah, he freezed way too late. I guess he was low on Elixir, but Fireball is in range, and that is going to be a flawless win against graveyard freeze so had some awkward spots but a huge thing is logging after they freeze your archers and also fireball if you need against the eye drag but that's going to be 7300 trophies i believe yeah just still not under top 5k wow but i think we are going to go for one more uh, just because i'm not really satisfied with a above top 5k finish uh, but yeah that's going to be 7.3k Alright guys, so hopping into hopefully the final match, um, I did lose one and then I won one back, uh, but found it against Kai, uh, let's see what he's going to be playing, um, hopefully we can just get one win above 7.3k for a nice finish, I mean again I don't really care too much about the finish, obviously I'd be pushing way more if I, w if I did, but I still do want to get like a decent milestone I guess. Um, at least because it would also be nicer like for the video for you guys. Um, Bandit and E-Spirit and Ram Rider, wow. So actually going to be 
maybe Mega Knight Ram Rider, which I haven't seen in so long. They usually have Archer Queen Lightning in here. Uh, this deck kind of died, though, because it was really good when Royal Hogs were broken, but ever since then, kind of fell off. Um, actually going to activate King off this Mega Knight, so look at this, guys. You can go Archers like this, Mega Knight will jump, and then go to the King Tower. Such a huge, helpful activation. Goes Archer Queen opposite, I guess I will just Fireball it back, and then let's see if he goes Ability. He does, so I'll go Skeletons to stall it out. Unfortunately, don't have Ice Spirit for it, so I'll take like three hits, I guess, but uh, I think that's fine. I mean, we got a King Activation. And that was an even trade against the queen, so I think I can definitely expo now and hover my knight uh, against whatever he goes. He goes bandit plus bar barrel, so we're gonna go knight ice spirit. And fortunately, I'm really late on that. I actually don't get anything out of that interaction. Um, I really should be more proactive. I say this so much in my videos, especially when I look back at plays I make. But I always, um, when I have like a really good prediction situation in single, and I hover my knight, I get it down too late. I should really just pre-place it because. He didn't have Mega Knight in cycle, he didn't have Archer Queen in cycle, um, he had to go for something, like I should have just predicted the Knight honestly, but I'm just, I have like kind of a tendency in my head to try and play really safe, so I didn't want to predict it if he wouldn't have played anything into it, like maybe he played a really low Ram Rider or something, the Knight would have just walked up I guess, but okay, he's going to have the Dark Prince in here as well, instead of Royal Ghost, which I think is definitely a huge help for me, just going to go Knight for the Bandit and then it'll also help out against the Dark Prince, protecting our Archers. And I don't really want to expo with this, we'll expo opposite, because I think he might Mega Knight on top of uh, the Knight plus Archers. So I'm just going to go Skellies to the side of the Mega Knight, and then Archers. This should fully take out the Mega Knight. Um, and Bar Barrel on the right, I think I will just take that, I guess. And I might just Knight Expo right now, because I did outcycle the Mega Knight. Goes for a Ram Rider opposite, so I will have to go for a Tesla as well. Cannot afford to commit anything else in the right right now. But now I'm going to go for a log on this Bar Barrel. And then even skeletons. Um, and Expo is on tower. E Spirit does retarget it. Oh, I, if I got a knight down in front of that, it might have been really good. But might have also been good that I didn't. Because it was a pretty low HP Expo. Um, but I guess I'll take one queen hit. That's Again, that's fine. I mean, we are down damage right now. But I think our time is definitely coming. Especially because we do have an activated king tower. Should help out big time in these sequences. Gonna go knight for the mega knight. Skeletons as well. Log, and then Ice Spirit to reset the Ram Rider should be a pretty flawless micro sequence. Bandit comes in, gonna go Archers to take it out. E Spirit snipes. Uh, actually, we do take out the E Spirit before it jumps. That's really big. We do get a small connection, actually. That's gonna put us just kind of back in the game. Goes for a Queen, gonna Expo opposite for sure. Um, and then Knight like this to maybe try and pull the Queen over. Okay, Knight walks across, so that wasn't really my idea. Um, gonna Skellies and Ice Spirit. And okay, actually take quite a bit of Archer Queen damage there. Gonna archers just to make sure I get a small expo connection out of this, and I actually don't. Okay, wow, so I took like a thousand damage there. That was really bad. I think I should expo though. I, I'm kind of desperate at this point, but okay, since I I kind of recognized I was desperate in the moment, I changed my mind. I think that's that was good. Uh, that was like a moment of reflection. Um, but yeah, he goes for a pretty aggressive Mega Knight, so after this sequence, I can definitely go in, I think. Let's go Ice Spirit to freeze everything. Low archers as well. Goes for a Ram Rider. I think I can just go for a Tesla, because this Tesla is going to die for sure. But I can think I can Expo with this, because he's not back to Mega Knight. Um, he goes Archer Queen to predict, but I'm going to block it with Skeletons and Knight. And he is going to go Bar Barrel to try and pop Archer Queen ability, but going to log back. And Expo is not going to be on tower, but I, again, I'm protecting this with everything I can. Going to catch the Bar Barrel. Okay, I kind of panicked and didn't catch it right. Uh, but Expo is still on tower, which is really nice. Gonna Knight Expo right now. Goes for a Ram Rider. Gonna Tesla, and wow, Ram Rider jumps all the way. I was absolutely not expecting that, which is why I went for a Tesla on the left. Goes for a Queen. I'm protecting this this time. Not gonna mess up. Um, and Expo is on tower. That's amazing. So we're gonna protect this again. I'm gonna let it die now, because we got all the connection we needed. Just have to defend against this final push. Let's cycle back to a Knight and uh, just protect these Teslas. We have two Teslas down. There's no way this Ram Rider is gonna get much going at all, honestly. Gonna even go Archers just in case. And Ice Spirit. Looks like he did have the Poison in there. I think he didn't reveal that the whole game. That's gonna be GG. Gonna get a nice final Fireball in there as well. Give him the well played and good luck, because he played pretty well, honestly. He was winning. Um, I was definitely playing way too aggressively early on, and didn't have the best micro situations, best decision. Uh, like, I took too much damage from the Queens, but I was able to come back, and again, Activated King was really huge for those defensive sequences, so remember that Mega Knight activation. But yeah, that is gonna be Another win above 7.3k, which is exactly where I wanted to be. 7,331, pretty nice number as well, honestly. Um, 
top 3.8k in the world, which is good enough for me. I, again, don't really care too much about pushing. I did lose one um, against a really silly 3M Gold Knight deck, but I won against Hog Lightning to make up for it. Uh, Gold Knight's just so stupid, honestly. But yeah, other than that, we had some really nice wins in the video. Uh, pretty good video overall, and pretty good final end-of-season push. I mean, there are still a few hours left in the season, so I'm really glad I was able to just kind of bang this out and get it done. Again, I also haven't really pushed ladder at all this season, but I finally decided to at the very end and wanted to upload it for you guys. But yeah, I guess I will try and make more ladder content more often, because you guys always enjoy it the most, but I am really just not much of a ladder player. Especially because I already got the achievements I need. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. End of season push. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.